Another day, another rheumatology video from yours truly, Metacosis Perfectionalis. We have talked about anti-nuclear antibodies, anti-neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies, the rheumatoid factor. We talked about the anti-CCP, anti-double-stranded DNA, and anti-Smith, as well as anti-U1 RNP. Today, I'll talk about anti-ribosomal P protein antibodies. Now, let's get started. All of these are my previous rheumatology videos in this playlist, so please subscribe and save my rheumatology playlist. There is a rule in rheumatology, no single blood test whatsoever can confirm the diagnosis. The $64,000 question is, does the lab test correlate with the clinical pictures, with the history, with the signs and symptoms? Quick review, anti-nuclear antibodies or antibodies against the nucleus, no kidding. And the more, the higher the titer, the more likely you have an autoimmune disease. However, the higher the titer does not correlate with disease severity or activity or disease symptoms. ANCAs, on the other hand, are antibodies against the cytoplasm of the neutrophils and monocytes associated with vasculitides. Again, they do not correlate with disease activity. Rheumatoid factors are O2 antibodies, antibody against the self, antibody against an antibody like a dog chasing its tail leading to immune complex deposition and then inflammatory symptoms. Rheumatoid factor is more sensitive than specific. It's one of the criteria to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis, positive in 80% of patients with rheumatoid arthritis. That's what makes it sensitive. Anti-CCP antibody, cyclic citrullinated peptide, positive in 60-70% of rheumatoid arthritis patients. Very specific, not sensitive, but very specific and can predict the progression of rheumatoid arthritis. If it's positive, you're more likely to get erosions and joint deformity, so it correlates with the disease activity and disease symptoms. Anti-double-stranded DNA. Now we're talking lupus land, specific subtype of ANA because it's against the double-stranded and it's kind of specific for lupus, very specific actually, not sensitive. We are still in lupus country, anti-Smith antibodies, or antibodies against nuclear proteins, the Smith antigen, 25% of lupus patients have them, so they are not sensitive, yet they are very specific for lupus, and they only occur in lupus patients. But unlike the anti-double-stranded DNA, they have no clinical correlation. So anti-double-stranded DNA correlate with kidney disease and vasculitis, but anti-Smith antibodies do not correlate with anything. Anti-U1 RNP, O2 antibodies, antibodies against SN RNP, a component of the spliceosome, it's an RNA binding protein, cool, found in conditions that overlap features of multiple rheumatic diseases such as mixed connective tissue disease as well as lupus. Great news guys, I have 50 hematology cases on my Patreon page, go to patreon.com forward slash metacosis, get the cases, you'll be in a great shape. Anti-ribosomal P proteins, today's topic, finally, okay. O2 antibodies against proteins in the ribosome, okay, they are called anti-ribosomal, hello. Specific for lupus, we are still in lupus land. They are not sensitive for lupus because only 20% of lupus patients have the positive anti-ribosomal P protein. If a lupus patient have positive anti-ribosomal P protein, they have higher risk of liver problems, as well as CNS problems, particularly depression or psychosis. Lupus attacks everything, and your brain is no exception. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. You'll get my notes, you'll get my cases. I love you forever. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Go to patreon.com forward slash metagosis to get the notes and the 50 hematology cases. Thank you guys for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Metagosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.